also I am getting um, laser eye surgery done possibly um, but I've come for a consultation with a doctor called Dr Ali Mirza this feels so weird that I'm vlogging with glasses on I hate wearing them I've been wearing glasses like ever since I was little and I've been wearing contact lenses since I was 14 and I'm now 25 so I feel like it's about time that I get um, some laser eye surgery and I can wake up and be able to see so um, sorry for the noise I'm just in a waiting room at the moment but um, I'll leave um, all details of um, the doctor and also the clinic that I'm at but it's a really 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 good doctor I've done my research um, and he's worked with loads of people um, but I just wanted to take you through the process of um, my consultation everything today I'm having my consultation but um, after today I will know that Dr Ali Mirza will be able to tell me whether I can actually get the um, laser eye surgery so there's two types of lasers LASIK and LASIK um, and as of yet I don't know so um, fingers crossed he says that I'm suitable and I can get it my eyes tested and they've put like a dilating solution thing in there so it's gonna make my vision blurry in about 20 minutes which should be interesting um, and getting home should be fun um, but yeah I think I'm just gonna get an uber but yeah I'm just waiting to see the main man now and um, go and have my consultation with him but so far everything is so good and it looks like I can get laser treatment but I'll be going through which one um, I'll need and all the finer details Yeah, so on the day you come in, we double check the prescription. One of our nurses will take you through the drops they need to be putting in. Yeah. We then take you through to the laser room. Mm -hmm. There's a bed that you lie down on. We're going to start with your right eye, so put a shield over your left. Okay. Anesthetic eye drops, you don't feel anything. Little sticky things for the lashes. A little clip goes and keeps your eyes open. Okay. Have you seen any videos? No, I don't want to. Yeah, best not to. Yeah. <laughs> it either puts you off or it's actually. Yeah, it's going to scare me. I don't want to. So, um, yeah, a little clip goes and keeps your eyes open so you can't blink. Okay. And then what we do is we apply a little bit of pressure mm -hmm. whilst the first laser makes a flap in the cornea. Okay. So the cornea is the clear window at the front of the eye. Okay. Okay. And what we do, we separate a couple of layers of that using the laser. Mm -hmm. We then turn those layers over, like turning a page of a book over. Right. The second laser then sculpts the eye to the right prescription underneath it. Wow. We then put the flap back and it basically tricks the eye into thinking nothing's happened. Oh wow! That's the that's the beauty of it. it there's like LASIK and LASIK. That's right. right yeah. So. So what's one? the difference? Yeah. So, I don't know, yeah. so LASIK with the eye hmm. uh, is the most popular method. Okay. And the reason being is that recovery is much quicker. Okay. So you know, the op takes ten minutes to do both. Actually, both of them take ten minutes okay. to do. But with LASIK, because we're using the flat method, and it tricks the eye into thinking nothing's happened. Uh, the LASIK with the eye. The LASIK with the eye. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. in a couple of hours, you're like. Wow, this is great. Yeah. And by the next day, you're 20 20. Oh, wow. Whereas with LASIK, with the E, okay. <laughs> or surface treatment is the other name for it. Okay. What we do there is we use alcohol to denature the top layer of the eye. Right. We then use a sponge to remove the top layer, almost like removing the skin. Okay. But from the eye. Okay. The same laser then scrubs the eye to the correct prescription. Okay. We then put a contact lens on, and that top layer has to regenerate, oh. which it does over three to four days. Okay. And over those three to four days, it is sore and painful. Oh, wow. so I'm having LASIK. You have LASIK, yeah. So where okay. possible, most people go for LASIK if it's you know, if it's if it's an option. Okay, brilliant. In your case, you could have either. So with the LASIK, you do the right eye, all be well, we then do the other. Just to give you a level of risk, one in a thousand of anything at all happening. Okay. Most of which we can manage without any detriment to the eye. So anything serious, you're looking at one in ten thousand. So about the same as if uh, you carried over any contact lenses. Okay, right. So the, uh, the risk of a, like a nasty infection with a contact lens is one in ten thousand. Right. And it's the same sort of level of risk with laser having a you know, problem that could affect your eyes. Okay. So once the eyes are done, we then lay in the recovery room for a short period of time, mm -hmm. let all the adrenaline dissipate, and then I see you here, <laughs> check everything's all right before you go. Okay. And then I see you again the next day, okay. and then the next week, and then sort of between one and three months after that. Okay. And then the doors always open, any problems, issues, you just give us a call. And so the next day, mm -hmm. I can crack on with doing normal, crack on. normal activities, yeah. and even the same day? 
if, if you want the same day is pushing it, I would okay. say the same day you're going to be aware something's happened. Okay. Maybe you feel that little gritty sensation okay, well. at least for a couple of hours. By the evening, you'll be like, ah, oh, this is all right. Okay. You know, and by the next day, you're fine. It's going to be a miracle. And I'm okay to be in front of a laptop, yeah. lights, things like yeah. that, drive. Yeah, that's all right. The next yeah. day. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, so this laser makes the flat in the okay. corner. Okay. That's called the Zima. Yeah. And it takes 20 seconds to do that. One of the fastest lasers on the market. Wow. Yeah. And then this is the Wavelet Allegretta, and that does the sculpting. Okay. Again, another super fast laser. Okay. One of the fastest around. Good morning, everyone. So today is the day that I'm getting my laser eye surgery. Woohoo! I'm so, so, so excited about this. I can't even express to you. I've been waiting for this moment since... Like, since I was young, you know when you're in your teen years and you're already feeling a little bit insecure about yourself and your image and things like that, you know, when Im image does does matter, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, like, I, I started wearing contact lenses at the age of 14, um, and that did make me feel a little bit better, but it was it was annoying, it was a hassle. Um, and I've, I've worn contact lenses ever since, so I'm now 25, um, so I've been wearing them for over 10 years. Over the years I got used to wearing lenses, of course, but it's still so annoying, like, you know, after a night out and your friends are like, just stay, and you can't, because you can't go to sleep with your lenses in. Don't sleep with your lenses in, it's not good. I think people that can see, clearly i think they take it for granted what they've got it's just it's so amazing so yeah i'm so 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 excited to be getting this done um and by one of the best also so i know that i'm going to be in safe hands so please wish me well guys i'm sure it's going to be fine so many people have asked me if i'm nervous i'm not nervous but anyway i've got to get going so um yeah catch you in a bit Okay guys, so I'm at the laser clinic with my lovely friend Ellie. She looks so cute and fleeky today. She looks so cute. You know, and I was like, I got into the car and I was like, I'm gonna make a bun girl. I don't even know <laughs> Yeah, we are, we're about to go in soon and I just dash these and be like, bye Felicia. It's gonna be crazy. Um, and I'm really feeling confident within him, which is the main thing. Um, like, I'm not nervous about, I don't know what I'm nervous about. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not nervous about the procedure or him doing it, but, because like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just like, oh my God, it's actually happening. Like those kind of nerves and that kind of feeling like I can't believe it's actually here. I'm sitting here and it's going to happen. So. So, so, so excited, and um, yeah, I, I guess I'll see you guys, see you guys on the other side. <laughs> Great pun. Perfect. Okay, so, all good. Let's bring you in, Bye. <laughs> there we go, it's a cool through. Take a seat there, first of all. Can you see anything up there? A little bit blurry? Uh, no, I can see the hands are like that. Oh, okay, okay, so we'll show you that afterwards and okay. see if it's any clearer. Okay, okay so turn around for me to see if it lies on this. one month post laser eye surgery so I just wanted to catch up with you all and let you know how I've been getting on and also I asked you guys over on snapchat to send me some questions and um, yeah if there's anything in particular that you wanted to know I've gone through them and I've seen what the most frequently asked questions were and I will answer them for you now so first things first I just want to say one month on that this is one of 
if not the best thing I have ever, ever, ever done. And I'm so, so, so grateful to Mr. Ali Mirza, number one, for, you know, giving me the most amazing vision. I am now past 2020, I'm 2016 vision. And for those of you that didn't know that you can get better vision than 2020, you can, and I've got it. <laughs> and the second person or people I'd like to thank are my mum and dad um, for giving me the gift of sight and they basically hooked me up, if y'all know what I mean. I feel like every single day since having this surgery is a miracle, like every day I wake up and I can see I'm just like oh my god this is incredible or when I'm getting ready to go to bed and I'm like oh I need to take out my contact lenses no girl no you don't and it's just it's just amazing it really really is a miracle first things first someone asked me um can you still wear colored contact lenses non-prescription after having laser eye surgery the answer to this is yes i did ask my surgeon because colored contact lenses are so in at the minute and as much as i am not going to miss wearing contact lenses um sometimes i might want to wear colored ones to switch up a look or something like that so after surgery you can however it's recommended that you wait at least a month but i'm going to give myself a few months until i wear colored contact lenses and it's not something that i will wear often it's just something i'll do now and again another question is what is the recovery like after laser eye surgery did you have to stay in hospital for a long time? First things first, you don't have to stay in hospital at all. My surgery wasn't done in a hospital. It was done in like a clinic, like a vision clinic. The surgery takes 10 minutes and you rest up for about 20 minutes to half an hour. You get your eyes checked and you're good to go home same day within the next hour. So it's amazing. In terms of what recovery is like uh, after laser eye surgery, you have to put in eye drops for a week after having your surgery. You're given like different um, drops to put in. Obviously, if your eyes are a little bit more sore or anything like that, then you put the drops in for longer. But um, I had a check up the next morning which was brilliant so the next morning i was told that my vision was good enough to be able to drive and um and then you get a check up a week after that and by that point my vision had reached 2016 vision your eyes only feel a little bit sore and gritty like on the first day and that's it and even then they're not like sore where you're in pain or anything like that and you're given drops to put in if you do feel like any kind of soreness whatsoever and it just straight away takes it away as well the next morning when you wake up your eyes and mine in particular because I suffer with dry eyes um, mine felt a little bit more gritty but you're given lubricating drops and things like that and as I've kept on top of my drops I don't have dry eyes anymore and it's amazing I was also told by the clinic before my surgery to take flaxseed oil capsules and um, because they're really really good for lubricating the eyes and I've seen such a huge difference in how my eyes feel and they don't get dry anymore at all so with taking the drops and taking those capsules my eyes feel amazing. I now no longer need to take any drops because obviously I'm one month after my surgery. However, with lubricating drops, you can use them if and when you want to. It's not gonna harm your eyes if you do. So sometimes now and again, just for the sake of it, I will pop some like, um, like refreshing drops in. Another question that I was asked is how much did it cost? Now I can't give you a set price on this because it does vary from person to person. It does depend on your eyesight in particular and like your eyes. So yeah, it, it varies. So the best thing to do is have a consultation, see if you are suitable for laser eye surgery and if you can get it done and then they will give you a price I can't tell you how much it's going to be. Okay, and another question I received was how long was the prep period and recovery process? Basically, I had a consultation and then literally one week later, I had my surgery. You don't have to do it that quick, but myself, I didn't want to hang about. I knew I wanted it done and I was able to get my surgery date that quick. So yes it was amazing all i had to do three days before my actual surgery is stop wearing my contact lenses completely they do recommend like not wearing them maybe for the whole week but um yeah they said a minimum 
for three days and obviously because I have to film videos and do that kind of stuff I did need to wear my lenses but three days before I didn't wear them at all whatsoever and then after my surgery I didn't wear makeup for a whole week you of course can wear foundation things like that but um in terms of like mascara concealer going really like close to your lash line I personally wouldn't and they don't recommend you do um it's just no point taking the risk you've spent the money getting your eyes done second of all why take the chance and the risk with something as precious as your eyes so it's better to just let them heal and recover properly okay and the last question i've got is is it painful no it is not painful whatsoever at all it is just when you are getting your laser done like when the actual laser thing is happening it's not painful all it is is that where it's like on your eye it's like adding it's like putting pressure just around your eye um so it's just discomfort but there is no pain on the actual eye like not at any point did i feel in pain it's it's amazing it's such a quick procedure and ali really was so thorough and what i really really liked is that he was telling me at each step what he was doing and it just made me feel a lot more comfortable like he was like okay i'm just putting the drops in like you want to know if when something's going in your eye and you're gonna be like that so he was letting me know at each stage and i'm just doing this okay and now your right eye is done and then and you're like oh damn my right eye is done already that was quick so it just helps you get through the process before you know it 10 minutes later you are done so it's amazing if anyone is thinking of getting laser eye surgery done i would highly recommend it it is seriously life-changing and i'm enjoying all the little things in life now like being able to wake up and see or knowing that when I go on holiday and come out the airport I can stick my shades straight on rather than waiting to get to the hotel and putting lenses in and then putting shades on yeah it's just the little things in life and this is incredible so a huge thank you once again to Mr Ali Mirza and his team and also my mum and dad um, and yeah if you've got any question guys please do leave them down below in the comment section and I'll definitely answer them for you just in case I've missed anything give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'm sorry if this video was a little bit gross at some points and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching Mwah. bye